Hello and welcome to another episode of abstract thesis series. In today's video, we are going to discuss how can we use rankx function in the visual calculation. If you remember, previously I've created a couple of videos where I've shown you various functions and in the blog, the additional function which I covered was rankx, which was not covered part of the video. So today I'm covering rankx function uh, in the visual calculations. So let's go to the Power BI file and try that out. So I'm on the Power BI file and as usual, I'm using my sales model, which is the model I'm using in most of my videos, which is containing the sales table at the center, followed by dimensions, which are item, date, customer and geography, all having one to many single directional join with the sales table. There is one join, which is bi-directional for, for item table, which I use usually when I want to train you how bi-directional join works. Now I'll go to the report view and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new page and inside this new page, I'm going to add brand and net. Make it a little bigger and convert it into a table visual also. Now here I want to add a rank. So how do we use, we use a rank function and do it? But this time I don't want to use the rank x function as a major. I want to use it as a visual calculation. Let me click on the visual. That's how the visual calculations are enabled. Go to the home tab and there I'm going to click on the calculation. New calculation is the option to do that. I'll click on the new calculation. Visual calculations have been opened now. Here I'm going to write down a new calculation which is rank and rank. I'm going to use the rank x function. Rank x. Now if you remember in the rank x, the first thing which, which we need to give is the table. And that is where I'm going to use rows. Expression is basically our uh, column where we are going to sort third item. Usually we keep empty. Fourth is order, which is by default descending, and size is the fifth one, which is by default. Yep. So let me start giving that. So here I'm going to use rows. So I'm not going to use uh, any like all selected table column. I'm going to use. The second one is my net major, which I wanted to use. And third one is the values column, which I'm going to leave empty. By default it is descending but i can give descending here and the dense because skip is default one dense here as my visual is already sorted on net you can see it is uh showing you the rank one for the maximum amount of net what we have now question which you may ask is how it's making a difference you would have done this rank x function all selected it would have behaved in the same manner isn't it so let's do one thing let's try to see if we already have a rank function i do have a rank net which is also on all selected item brand net descending dance very similar major also i have so i have a visual calculation i have a major and uh, you can see this is visual calculation and this major so while i have both and both are giving this but let's we'll go ahead go to brand and click on this arrow and i'll change it to category so the moment i change it to category the thing which you will notice here basically this rank got adjusted but this is the one which is not getting adjusted now why it is not getting adjusted because it is talking about item brand brand is not in the context and that is where it's all selected brand is not get adjusted but here we are talking about rows so here it is changed from brand to category and now it is able to adjust rank there the second case which we can test out is basically let's convert this into a matrix now i have category and inside that let me bring in brand inside the category i have brand now i added the brand and i'm going to expand this matrix visual let's see what do you see a difference here now here what is happening here is this brand is one to nine so each brand is getting rank within the category so there's a partitioning which is happening but here when you see these things this is not getting same way partition there are different ranks and if you see here, there is a one two here and then there is a three here so remember category four brand two is at number three and category two brand eight and brand nine now to understand this let me convert this back into a table visual now, when i convert it into table visual and I sort it on net, which is right now the sorting. You can see that it is actually sorting it on the combination. So in the second level, the brand level, when I was seeing in the matrix visual, while the rank is partitioning it by category, this one is not getting it partitioned. Now we we have like you know rules how do we partition and not partition in different functions. Like we have a rank function where we can give partition by and there we can deal with. But in this scenario, especially with the rank x function, as you can see, now when I'm adding two, it is taking both of them as rows and you know it is giving the rank based on that. Now this is one of the challenge which you had in the past, like because if I keep on adding how many ranks I'm going to create, and this is where you know a visual calculation help helps us a lot that my rank is independent of what i have in the calculation i simply using row 
and it can change based on the visual so i don't have to specify a particular column i, I get that independence that i can change my column inside my visual or i can change my group wise inside my visual and my rank can adjust to that while in major calculation that's not possible because they are tied to a particular column or field and they are going to behave in a manner they should behave when this column is tightly attached to that particular measure so this is the real benefit and now you would have understood that you know what benefit each one of them has now sometime i would like to have major because i have that kind of a scenario which is basically the rank should get partition as soon as i add something else and that is what the case is and sometime you know i have to explain that again and again in many videos i have done that the moment you add additional stuff the rank is inside that additional column which is not participating in the rank or it gets partitioned by that other column because we are limited by what column we have put it into the rank x function in a major but that's not the case with the visual calculation so, so why don't you go ahead and experiment with these couple of options of the rank x function one inside the visual calculation one in a major and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this particular video thank you